If you don't like when people were making to the gym, get out of here. I don't want you here. Bye. Who you a fool for this? Who you a fool for this? I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink. I walk like I talk like I act like I. Look I'm gonna do a little impromptu get ready with me to go to the gym and like what I do with my makeup and my hair when I want to look good. I'm filming with Adrian today, so it's going on YouTube. Whenever we film together, I just like to look normal and you guys have asked for this a couple times i'm not gonna do a q a like i normally do i'm just gonna show you how i do it all i am going to crimp my hair a little bit and do like a half up half down situation and then just do like a light little makeup look just so i look like a person and i don't know you guys know it's off season i'm not really feeling amazing about the physique right now so when i feel good here i feel good about the rest of me so if you want to see how i get ready for the gym Hair, makeup, whatever. Keep on watching. If you don't like when people wear makeup to the gym, get out of here. I don't want you here. Bye. So what we're going to do is I have this hair crimper. It's a bedhead one. I got it from uh, Ulta. And I'm just going to do my hair in two sections just because I don't want it to be like too put together. I just want a little bit of texture. Sometimes I'll do this when my hair is curly, but she's already been brushed through. So that's not going to work today. My hair is a little dirty, so that's why I'm gonna do this hairstyle too because it gives it some texture. So I just brush her out, and then I put this on the second to highest heat setting, and I'll just take little sections, like so. Hold her there, I don't know, for like six or seconds. Like so. And just do it so that my hair has a little bit of, a little bit of wave, a little bit of texture since she's not giving us a whole lot right now. See, and it doesn't have to be perfect because obviously I'm going to the gym. It's going to be half up, half down. It doesn't have to be the cutest thing ever, but I just want a little texture here. Same thing, and then I just, I don't know. I have been doing it. I don't really know how much of this I'm going to show, and then, I don't know, I'll probably do like a fast little zoom zoom through it, but that's what I'm wearing today. We're going to hit some shoulders. I'm excited. I hit, y'all know, I got my boobs down, right? So I hit upper body on Sunday for the first time. I did just like a little bit of back and shoulders and it felt really good. Like nothing felt abnormal at all. So I'm excited to do like my regular shoulder day again today. And I told him that I want to make it like vlog style because I know you guys like it when I do training videos and I talk through it and just kind of give you tips and just like, I don't know, explain what I do. We're meeting at America's gym. It's a minute for me and honestly traffic is always a bitch going there but it's nice because it's a gym where it's not weird for me to film in. That's the hardest part with filming in gyms is either, especially this time of year, like everybody's trying to get summer ready. So it's just like always packed. And I never like to be the bitch that's filming. It's easier when I have Adrian with me because there's not like a tripod situation that I have to set up. It's just like you're working out with a friend and they just have a camera and they're filming you, which I really like. But that's always my situation. It's I have to drive to this gym that's like an hour away from me whenever I want to film. So that's why me and Adrian will normally film like Monday, Tuesday. And then that's why I've been getting my gym videos up on Friday. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I've been trying to be more consistent with YouTube. Now that I have Adrian editing and filming a lot of my stuff, it's been easy. We've been trying to do like a gym video on Friday and then whatever should I come up with, vlog, whatever it might be. Um, and do <coughs> oh, doing that on Sunday. So I buy Friday and my Sunday uploads. I'm just gonna spray it with some hairspray. This isn't like my favorite body means. I really think this was Sam's at one point, so I'm just kind of getting through it. But that's kind of been my struggle with filming as of late. I did ask you guys on Instagram what kind of like gym content you wanted to see, and you guys did give me some good ideas. Some of the time, I think you guys forget that I'm a bodybuilder, and yes, I have my fun in off season, but at the end of the day, I'm still trying to grow these legs. So. Like, a couple of you asked me to do, like, try, like, a bunch of classes and make it a series. Like, Orange Theory, like, Solid Core, like, just a bunch of shit like that. Which I'm not against taking classes, but there comes a point where I'm not going to sacrifice my own training and just bodybuilding for content. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll see a lot of people say this, how you can't be a bodybuilder and an influencer. And I understand what they mean when they say it, because... Filming will get in the way of your workouts, and that's one thing I told myself in the beginning is that I was never going to let, like, filming my stuff get in the way of my workouts. That's why you guys don't see a lot of gym content. Ooh, because half the time, I just don't want to film, and I hate, like, when I go to the gym and I film by myself, like, I'm adding on at least 
an extra hour to my gym session. And I don't know. That's why it's easier to have Adrian because I can just work out and he'll film it and it's normal. I don't know. If you have a videographer that you actually like and it's not weird vibes, I feel like it's a good situation. But it's taken me a while to get to this point, obviously. So that's kind of my update on like training and stuff. Training has felt really good. I did hurt my back last Thursday. Honestly, my lower back is just weak as shit. And I was immobile for so long because I obviously couldn't train or work out for six weeks with my boobs. So, yeah, I fucked up my back. I, like, collapsed on the DeSmith machine. It feels better now, but when I do legs tomorrow, I'm just going to do a lot of machines and stuff where there's not a lot of, like, load on my spine. I also need to stop saying legs so much, so don't yell at me for doing it because I'm probably getting you to do it, but that is a goal of mine. I don't know, this is really just like a word vomit. I don't know what you call this. Get ready with me while I talk shit. I don't fucking know. Training in general has been good. My cardio is down a bit. I'm still waiting for my protocols with my little gut doctor girly. If you guys watched my off-season update video, I talked about how we're working to like fix my insides and my hormones and everything. I did get a period last week, which was crazy because in my entire 25 years on this earth, I have never had a period like one month after another, ever. Like even when I was little, little, like I was what, 11, 12 getting periods, I would get them once every five months naturally, right? I would get them once every five months. And let's do three sections. I'd get them once every five months. And then when I would get them, they would be like the worst pain in my life. Like I wouldn't want to go to school because it hurt so fucking badly. And yeah, so then they put me on birth control when I was 12 for the period cramps and I got off of it when I was 22. And when I was on birth control, regulated for me was every other month, which is not fucking regulated. Um, so that was just like what normal was to me. And then when I got off birth control, I didn't have periods at all. And me and Carrie were working to get it back. And if you watched that video before, I got my first period in three years in April. And so we were just kind of like, okay, maybe you like the weight gain, like it helps something. Like obviously me not training, like my body was happy. Um, Cause I don't know, I was talking about this on TikTok too. Like not having a period isn't a flex. I had somebody tell me that they felt like they failed because they're not working hard enough because they still have a period. And I was like, girl, like it's not a flex. Anyone who has lost their period will tell you it's not a good thing. Like we're not like, oh my God, yay, that's my period. Like, before bodybuilding, I was like, okay, cool, I don't get a period, but I didn't understand why it was not good for me at the time, obviously. Anyways, that's my long story as to why, um, my long story as to why I'm hyped that I got a period. I could not believe I got a period last week. I was like, there again, I'm bleeding. It's just wild. So, that was a win in Kenzie's book. I'm going to do the rest of my hair, and I'll show you when it's all crimped, and then I'll show you how I, like, put it up, I guess. It's really easy. I'm not a hair girl. I like makeup or I'm better at makeup than I am at hair, like 1000%, but I'm gonna finish this and then I'll show y'all. Okay, this is what it looks like loosely crimped. It's not that cute when it's down, but we're gonna tie her up and she'll be a little vibe, okay? All right, so this may be crazy. I know some of you are like, you're really showing me how to put my hair half up, half down. So I'm at the point where my nails, like the hair goes underneath it, you know what I'm talking about? Not a vibe. So I'll start like here. I like to keep some face framing pieces. Oh my god, some of this is, yeah, my hair is definitely dirty. Definitely, definitely. I don't really make sure it's that even. But yeah, see my hair, it needs to be brushed through. But anyways, I just do that and I put it on the top of my head like I'm a little dog. Not the BDSM bra coming through. And then I'll pull some out there and kind of pull at the sides a bit. And then I like to bring these pieces down so I have some by my face. And yes, I know my hair is like down, I'm training, whatever. I'm training shoulders. I don't really care. But this is what the hair looks like. That's how I do that. Normally, my hair will have some texture when it's curly and humid outside. But today, we weren't working with a whole lot. But now I'm going to film the makeup portion. It's really light. It's very much like no makeup, makeup, but not vibes. But I'm going to show you guys how I do that too. So I already washed my face earlier this morning. But I am going to put on some sunscreen that's a little glowy. This is the e.l.f. Can you see this? I don't even know. Okay. This is the e.l.f. Sun Touchable Low Glow. It's in the color Sunbeam. And so I just take this. Throw this bitch on my face. Like so. 
I'm not even using a mirror. Like I'm fully just kind of looking at the camera, kind of looking at the viewfinder. So I like this because it's just like a little glowy on your skin. But the key to makeup with the gym, people always comment on my TikToks asking like, oh my God, how does it not sweat off? Like, oh my God, I wish, I wish. It's not that the goal is that your makeup's not going to sweat off. It is. You're not getting past that. It's just, I'm not trying to do like full coverage beat, like baking and shit. We're not trying to do all that. The key is so that your makeup just wears and fades nicely. It's not like blotchy and patchy over your face and shit. So it's like when it goes away, it just kind of looks like your skin. That is the key here. So... I don't even use a primer any of that because I'm not wasting that shit because I know it's going to come off at some point. What I do like to use is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator or I will use the Suede Cosmetics Foundation. Where are you? Right here. Depends on how much coverage I want. The Suede one is a lot more high coverage. I do have a code with them. It's Kenzie V10, I believe. But it's more high coverage. Depends on if I want this or if I want the wet and wild one i'm using the wet and wild one today just because i don't know my skin's doing pretty fine like i don't really need a whole lot i have them in a bunch of different colors the one i'm going to use today is what color is this in tan medium deep i don't know this is my like tan shade so this i literally just take some i don't even zoom in for y'all because this shit's too easy put it on your little fingies like this and you're just going to put it on like it's a moisturizer and i like this because i feel like a lot of tinted moisturizers bb creams literally have no coverage at all like it's like what's the point of me putting on this face this on my face right now but i like this because it does a little something but when i'm doing gym makeup i like to go a little less on the foundation just do more concealer if i need coverage i do bring this down so i don't give too much orange i don't really know how tan i am right now and then for concealer, I'm taking the Kosas one. Sorry, I don't know if I get you all to see this. I have the wrong lens. Adrian has the lens that I need. So, Adrian, I need that. Um, but I just put this, like, under my eyes. Right there. Sorry, I'm going to have to look at my mirror. Like, show. A little bit down my nose. There. Me, I'm like, not too much. No makeup, makeup. Come on, babe. What are we, what are we lying? And then I do sometimes have to let it sit for a bit so it's more coverage. And then... Tap it with your finger first, and then take your clean beauty blender and just tap out the excess. Sorry, y'all. I'm not. I'm so unprepared for this video. Like so unprepared. So we have no mirror. I'm just kind of looking at y'all looking in the mirror over here. And yeah, so I just tap this bitch in. I don't like anything too full coverage. The closest one is, I would say it's like a natural medium coverage. It's not like a shape tape. Like I'm not, the only time I would put a shape tape in my face is if I'm doing like a photo shoot. So like when I do the dark um, photo shoots, which maybe I'll do that at the next photo shoot that I have with them. Maybe I'll do like a, have me and like Peyton or someone will do like a get ready with me thing. So I can kind of show you guys what I do for my makeup for like photo shoots when I want them a little bit more full coverage. This I don't need to be too crazy because it's just a YouTube video. It's my YouTube video. Um, yeah. And then what I do is I take the Huda Beauty powder. I love this powder. It's in the shade Banana Bread. And I just put some into the top of the little cap right there. And I just take some right there, top of the excess, and put it under my eyes. I do let my under eye cheek area, I don't even want, want to call it baking. <laughs> But I do get pretty oily, so if you really want your makeup to stay on, you could bake. But I don't like to do too much makeup for the gym. A lot of you are going to think this is a lot of makeup. To me, it's really not. <laughs> but I'll just do that. And while it kind of sits under my eyes here and on my forehead, I will do my eyebrows. So for brows, I use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is the shade 4. I just brush out my brows. I don't do too much of a bold brow or anything since it's daytime but what i do i'm gonna really try to have you kind of see this i underline right under at first and go right there and then i'll go on the top just a little bit get my tail where i want her and then we'll brush her out again and a little bit more the front to make it look like I actually have some bra hairs up in the front here and then I just brush her out and this is what the brows look like they kind of look 
like they always kind of do. Now we're going to take a big fluffy brush and just brush off that excess powder we have on our face and bring it down here. Then y'all know we gotta do some bronzer. I'm not leaving without some fucking bronzer on my face. Um, try and true, you already know, the NARS Laguna, but the matte version, the regular Laguna has like shimmer in it and I don't like shimmer in my bronzer. So I'll start, and I just do the perimeter of my face. So I start on my temples. I go pretty heavy on my temples and bring them down there. Ooh, not the arm shaking. And then what I do, I don't like contour, more so bronze. This goes not here, but a little higher. And I'll just put that in there because I don't like to do too much of a contour when it's daytime. I just feel like it's doing a bit much. Excess of it will just go on the sides of my nose. I don't really nose contour. And under my chin and bring that down like that. And then y'all know we gotta do some blush. We're gonna do the House Labs in Dragon Fruit Days. It's super pink. And then I just take a little angled blush brush like this, tap it a little bit, and we do this. And same on the other side. I love this because it's not too pigmented in the pan, so it's not like you're like, oh shit. Like it's easily buildable, which I like. And then I put some on my nose to kind of marry this and my bronzer together, like show. One size fits all setting spray. This shit is like glue for your face. Come on. Ah! My lash got stuck down. Ooh. This is the Becca and Smashbox. They did a collab on the old champagne pop. I believe they're still selling it. If so, get your fucking hands on that shit. I'm gonna take some of this excess off because I have a bunch of glitter <laughs> from when I went to Swing Outs last weekend. And I love a nose highlight, so I'm always gonna let her pop a little bit. You can also not do highlighter because you're gonna sweat and that's probably gonna look like highlighter too. But I don't do too much of it. And yeah, that's literally it. Um, actually, let's be a little crazy. Nah, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it there. And then I'll usually just put like a little like chapstick on with gloss. Whatever. I'm doing my pre-workout, so it's gonna go away anyways. But this is the hair and the makeup. Super easy. I don't do this all the time. Y'all know I look like a gremlin at the gym most of the fucking time. But when I film, I just like to look better. I don't know. It just makes me feel better. And I feel a lot better than I did when I came on this camera. I'll tell you that much. But I'm going to get my outfit together and I'm going to show you guys that too. Okay, so for the fit, I'm going to change out of this black outfit to put on a different black outfit. So these are from the recent Dark Sport drop. They are the Everson Seamless. This new fabric is somehow stretchier, but it's more true to size, but it's in the black and white serpent print. Those are the medium, and then I think this is the energy bra, maybe? These are some of my favorite bras from Dark Sport. They make my titties look incredible. And then I'm also going to put on this little cropped Dark Sport wolves, and it's like English writing on the back. And then I forgot what shoes I'm going to wear with it, too, but I'll show you that when I do that. Yes, I'm on the floor right now. <gasps> God, these are so fucking stretchy, y'all. I love these. I need to like move away so you guys can see. Let me move the camera. Let me move it. Okay. This is what these look like. Okay, quad squatting. And then I just gotta pull it into my ass a little bit. Ooh, she has an ass. Guess what? Kinda, kinda not. I am kinda happy because some of the scrap that I gained, obviously, uh, some of it's going to my ass. This is the best part of my day because I get to take off my BDSM bra and put on an actual fucking sports bra. This is the sports bra, has the pads in it. I don't know, I fucking love it. It makes my titties look incredible. And then, for this top, some of the dark sport crop tops fit me. I don't know, it's just like a weird... Oh wait, no, this one I cut. Just kidding. Uh, sometimes I leave them out like this, sometimes I tuck them in, and then other times what I do is I'll just twist it in the back, and then tuck it in to said sports bra so it's more fitted from the front like this, which I kind of like. But yeah. Because then I think she looks cute from the back. Boom, we'll fit check. Maybe I should bring you over here so you guys can see the full fit. Um, so this is the top, tucked in. See, it's a little tighter to me. 
I don't want to get my feet in this, but these are the leggings. I think they're so cute. Booty's kind of doing some a little bit, a little bit, maybe, possibly. I don't know, but this is the fit. Now should I make this one and like show you my pre-workout and like pre-workout meal, all that shit? Make this like an actual like get ready with me vlog. Okay, let me change my battery because this shit's about to die. So we're gonna make this easy. I feel like people will overcomplicate pre-workout meals so much. Get a carb in you, get a protein in you, and like minimal fat and you'll be fine. So let me set my camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. You are going to ignore my messy ass kitchen, all right? So I just put my bowl on my scale, zeroed out. I'm only putting 100 grams of rice in this meal, but it doesn't matter how much I put in each portion. It's going to depend on how many carbs you have to hit in total for the day and how many meals you eat. So if I only ate three meals, I'd be putting way more in here, but I eat like five. So I just, this rice I've already had made. I use the same entry for rice and I've been using the same one for years. So as long as it's consistent, you'll be good. Just make sure if you're like weighing it, um, you're weighing it cooked that you're entry in my fitness pal or whatever tracking app you use is cooked as well it's the same thing with the chicken put it to ounces turn it on make it zero and then i just have this chicken already prepped and we're going to add four ounces of chicken to this meal beautiful okay it's almost there i will survive i'll put it in my app whatever so i just do that and then i'm throwing this bitch in the microwave. Try to do this with one hand. Okay, that wasn't gonna work. That was never gonna work, Kenzie. And it's not in focus. Put this bitch in the microwave. Ow! We're going through it for one minute. And while we do that, we're gonna make our intro workout. My intro workout is just what I drink during my workout, essentially. So you wanna think about your pre workout, you're gonna have carbs like an hour before your lift, right? But your intro workout is just carbs that you can sip on during your workout, so you have more carbs during your lift. Think about it this way more carbs, more energy, more energy, better lifts, better lifts, better gains. Think about that way, right? So I'm just going to take my Helomix. I forget to always talk about Helomix. I have a code with them. It's called Kenzie. So I take my Helomix. Okay, this is not really working. I picked the wrong camera for this event, all right? Fill her up with water. I'll start drinking this about 30 minutes before my lift, and I finish it before my second to last exercise is done. So I used to do just like regular Gatorade powder, but then Buff Chick sent me their intro workout mix and I've been using that as of late. Where is she? Where is she? Here she is. I don't have a code, but my friend Alex does. So use code Alex. This is their intra. So I just, this is what has the carbs in it basically. So I'll take, oh, I'm kind of running over this bitch. Whatever I believe is a full scoop once I get it out of here. And then I also put my creatine in here. So I'm going to put this on my scale. And Kerrigan just has me doing three grams right now. You can do five. Do whatever you want to do. Questions about creatine? Take it. TikTok made everyone think it's a fucking steroid. It's already in some of the foods that you eat. You're just supplementing it. But make sure if you are taking creatine that you're drinking enough water. So if you're drinking a gallon of water a day, you'll be fine. So I put that in there too. And then, since we are doing shoulders, I want a little pump. We're going to add some of the buff chick pump as well. This is the, oh, yeah, this is the Icy Blue Raz flavor. So we're going to do, not a full scoop, but just some of that in there. And then I will also add some pink salt, mostly for the pump, but for the electrolytes too. Salt is good for you. You should be salting all your meals. So I'll do about, like, four little twists in there and shake this bitty up. So I'll put this in, um, I'll have this in my car with me, I'll start drinking it like halfway to the gym, and then I'll finish it when I get to the gym. And now we have our pre-workout meal, chicken and rice, basic shit, I fucking know. I'm gonna add salt to this too. Salt all your meals, if you're eating whole foods, the majority, you don't have to worry about the sodium, you're gonna be okay, and salt is good for you. Then I'm going to take a little sauce, you know I can't just have plain chicken and rice, Nerdy Sanchez by Flavor Gang. I now have a code, code Kenzie. And this is zeros all around, so I don't track this. But I just drizzle that on top of there. And I will eat this right now, and then I'll show you the pre-workout that I'm gonna take. Cause I don't normally take pre-workout, but I want some today. That's all I know. Okay, it is pre-workout time. So I'm gonna take another human mix. She's kind of dirty, but I'm gonna deal with it. Cause I'm the only one that lives in this house. So 
We're going to fill her up. I don't know. To like there. And then Buff Chick sent me some new pre workouts, I believe. Yes. I'm going to try this one. They sent me the peach bellini flavor. I'm a big peach girly, if you weren't aware. So, this tastes like a peach bellini. I'm going to be happy. Ooh, the scoop is at the top. We'd love to see it. Oh, not the powder everywhere. Okay. We're going to take a heaping scoopage of this. Just put her in there, that didn't go everywhere. And then put a little toppy top on her. Like I said earlier, code Alex. All right. Live taste test. It's good. I feel like I needed less water. It's not as peachy as I thought it'd be, but she's good. I wouldn't like call it life changing or anything, but. She has, ooh, not the not. She has some good flavor. All right, you guys, I need to get my life together and get my ass to the gym. So that was it. You guys saw the fit, you saw the hair, you saw the makeup, you saw the pre-workout, you saw the intro, you saw the pre-workout meal. Um, That's it. So yeah, I don't know. Subscribe if you don't hate me. I don't know. Next video will be up on Friday. So subscribe if you want to see videos on Friday and Sundays. But yeah, that's it. All right. Mwah. Bye. Who you a fool for this? Who you a fool for this? I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink. I walk like I talk.